The OPNFV Verify program was created to demonstrate the readiness and availability of commercial products based on OPNFV. It's now seeking to expand the market for NFV-based infrastructure and associated applications. OVP is a compliance and verification program that uh, we are doing within uh, LF Networking uh, to address the deployment and interoperability challenges that uh, operators are uh, encountering as they do more and more real-world NFV um, deployments. As we have been tra transitioning um, to NFV, uh, you know, we've gotten a lot of great value and benefit from things like moving intelligence into software and disaggregating the networking stack from the you know, old monolithic hardware platforms. Um, what that means practically, however, is that multi-vendor interoperability becomes um, really important. Right? You want to be able to bring you know, any VNF from any vendor and feel fairly confident that you can deploy it on your platform in your environment without having to go through a lot of testing and update cycles uh, with the vendors. Our vision really is to create an end-to-end -end framework with a comprehensive certification program that includes aspects such as validation, performance, as well as uh, compliance. Uh, and recently we introduced the approved lab scheme, which, which uh, will see uh, certified labs being able to help vendor certify their solutions. The Interop Lab, or UNH, has been participating really in the design of the programs for quite a long while. Um, and we're actually announcing this week that we're the first verified lab uh, to go through the program. So that's a, a part of the program where all the testing and the programs have always been structured to allow self-testing or third-party lab testing. Uh, being an, an open source project, an open source community, it was really important to make sure that there was kind of both approaches available to the industry. And we believe that this, uh, this program can uh, accelerate uh, the way the, the ecosystem can follow all these requirements coming from OPNV and ONAP. And we also believe that to, to build all these test suites we need for the infrastructure or the VNF, it's not possible to do it by one single actor. And the beauty of the community, on the OPNV, ONAP or others, is that we can build all these tests all together and we hope as a service provider that we can have, let's say, a large number of tests that can be, let's say, executed in any kind of environment. If you think about how VNFs are deployed in our network, there's a great level of verification has to take place before the VNF goes live. And whenever there is an update in either VNF or in the VI, the whole process will have to happen again. But with this industry-driven program, we can see more consistent requirements coming from operators for verification requirements. That means vendors will be able to update their software more frequently, and hence we could launch our services in a more agile and uh, speedy way. Last year, we actually launched a program on um, NFVI VIM, uh, compliance and verification, and uh, this year we have launched an initial VNF compliance program. Uh, and what it does is it validates um, that uh, VNFs and their templates, um, which are you know, kind of part of the ONAP process, um, are you know, conform to what ONAP is requiring and, and needs. And so that should you know, really cut down on the amount of testing and sort of help the ecosystem get to time to market faster, reduce some of those testing costs, and improve uh, the overall quality of the solutions going out there in the network. We believe VNF procurement into network, it should be as simple and efficient as IT inductions. And we, for that to happen, more consistency on the way VNFs are onboarded and verify is needed. And we do believe that CVC program is able to provide the level of consistency the industry needs. Now, Vodafone, we are helping in this community by being active in the community. We sit in the CVC, in the end user advisory group to feed in requirements, but we're also contributing our internal developments back to the community. One of the, the key tenants that NFVI has promised to operators for quite a long while has been, you know, reduced OPEX, you know, making something simpler, faster to deploy, more agile. To really meet that promise, you've got to have systems that are, are you know, well aligned with the requirements and one another. And you want to try to, you know, break down a lot of those silos that may exist. Now, you don't want to have VNFs driving specific infrastructure requirements onto the NFI because then you're just 
ending up with your similar silos that have already existed in the past. We expect that also this, uh, this program will, let's say, put more pressure on the OPNAV on, on our program to improve all the test suites we need to have to be sure that my infrastructure, in, uh, my real infrastructure in operation, it run fine, and also that my VNF that I buy to my vendors will be uh, easily integrated in my management system. The reality is there are dependencies between and the VI and VNF, especially when it comes to things like uh, validation or performance. For instance, if we say a VNF is performing in a certain way, the question is what kind of NVI configuration the VNF runs on? and any change in NFVI configuration will likely impact the VNF performance. And this is why a common framework that will relate VNF certification to NFVI is indeed necessary. So it really is for them to get to business faster with their services because the, the VNFs are coming in more pre-qualified. Also to reduce the cost of the you know, sort of lab systems that they have internally and make that go faster. Um, and to you know, give them more confidence and kind of you know, de-risk interacting with VNF vendors, especially new suppliers or smaller suppliers that might be offering you know, new types of offerings.